Assalamu alaikum my dear students and today's class I am again in front of you with the same issues that is moment of inertia we will try to find out the moment of inertia of this shaded area about both of its axes about we will rotate this about y y axis and then we will do it about the x x axis how we can do that and how we have done it in the previous case I hope you are watching my videos so that you can have the sequence of watching these and you can find out the answers in a very easy way again in this case the curve equation is given in y formation that is y is equal to kx kx 1 by 2 so therefore we have to cut a strip such a way that strip should be parallel to the y y axis so this is y axis and this is x x axis so we will cut the strip like this so this is an elementary strip we have cut this elementary strip again we will give the dimensions add as we did in the previous cases from this point to this point because it is on x axis therefore this is dx and this height is along the y axis therefore this will give this height as y and from this point middle of this to this we'll keep this as the x this is at x and this distance instead of x this is a this distance is a from this point to this point this is a and from this point to this point this is b and the cg from the cg of this elementary strip to the yy axis is is x so this is how we have to set the question first then we'll use the direct integration method so we have to give the direct integration method that is moment of inertia about the y y axis that is by using the direct integration method that is equal to distance square of the distance from this point to this point the distance is x so it is the square of the distance and the area of this elementary strip that is dA as I said in the previous examples this dA is equal to that is area of this elementary strip the breadth is dx and the height of elementary strip is y so dx by dx y is the area of this elementary strip so we can substitute that here so it means integral of x to the power of 2 in a of dA will write y into dx so it is in dx formation so that means the lower limits are 0 it starts from 0 and the maximum limits are a so that means 0 to a we have to give the limits then we need to remove this y how we can do that because it's in dx formation so we know y is equal to here it is kx 1 by 2 therefore the k is equal to y divided by x 1 by 2 the y has the limits from 0 to a 0 to b sorry so we can write it is b and x is 0 to a so we can write a to the power of 1 by 2 that is the value of k so let's substitute this value of k in the above equation that means y is equal to b by a 1 by 2 and x 1 by 2 so that is the value of y so let's substitute this value of y in this equation therefore it is integral of 0 to a x to the power of 2 instead of y we can write b by a 1 by 2 into x 1 by 2 dx so this is the constant term as we did in the previous cases so we'll take this out so that means b by 1 by 2 integral 0 to a it is so how we'll do this it's x square and x 1 by 2 so we'll do it separately that's 2 plus 1 by 2 that means 2 it's that means 4 plus 1 that is 5 by 2 so it becomes 5 by 2 so x 5 by 2 dx now we'll do the integral part of this it means it is b divided by 1 a 1 by 2 x so how we'll get that that is x 5 by 2 plus 1 so that is 2 5 plus 2 that is 7 by 2 so x 7 by 2 
by 7 by 2 within the limits of 0 to a. So let's send this away. So it means this will go up to b and it will remain down that is 7a 1 by 2 and a 7 by 2. So let's now try to solve this equation. So it means if this will go up it will go in minus that is 7 by 2 minus 1 by 2 that is 2 7 minus 1 which is 6 by 2 1 3 it is equal to 3 so that means 2b a to the power of 3 by 7 so this is the moment of inertia of this shaded region about the y y axis so this is the value of moment of inertia about the y y axis now we'll try to find out the moment of inertia of the shaded region about the x x axis as we did in the previous case the moment of inertia about the x x axis how i did that so i took out this strip separately and that is the width which is dx and it's the height of the elementary strip which was y and we know about the base moment of inertia about the base is b h cube by 3 in a stroke b what we'll write we'll write dx that's the width and h is the height height is y y cube by 3 so we can integrate that directly here so that is y cube dx by 3 so this 3 will go out that is 1 by 3 integral y cube dx so it is in the dx formation the limits for dx is from 0 to a so we can give the limits 0 to a now this y value we have already found out that y value here in this equation so we can substitute directly that y value so it means 1 by 3 integral 0 to a instead of y we'll write b by a 1 by 2 into one x 1 by 2 dx this is whole square because y was having the cube whole cube so let's do solve this it means 1 by 3 integral 0 to a b cube this will be a 3 b 3 by 2 this will be x 3 by 2 dx again this is a constant term so let's take this constant term out so it will be b cube by this will be 3 a 3 by 2 so we got inside that is x so this 3 by 2 if we solve this 3 by 2 plus 1 so that's 2 3 plus 2 that is 5 by 2 so x 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 within the limits of 0 to a so that means this constant term will go out this constant term will go out it means this will go up that is 2b cube by this will get multiplied 5 will get multiplied with 3 that's 15 a 3 by 2 and here is a 5 by 2 if we solve this this will go minus i will do it here so it means 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 which will give me 5 minus 3 that is 2 by 2 that means 1 so this final answer is 2b cube divided by 15 so this will get 1 that means a so this is the moment of inertia of this shaded area about the x x axis so i hope you enjoyed this question and i hope you got this question correctly if you got this question correctly and you enjoyed this question please do subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and also this share this channel with your friends thank you very much for watching me